Hi everyone. Hi. I'm Lisa. I'm Renee. And, and together, together we are the Tapping Duo. Duo. So last night's episode was called Famous Dances. What did you think of the episode as a whole? Well, we had an opinion difference, I think, in the 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 episode as a whole or the beginning well, opening the episode number. as a whole. Did you like the idea of the for an episode? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. It brought back a lot of great memories. All those songs. Mm -hmm. I thought it was interesting because for me it was a lot about performing, and not so much about dancing. Even though they claim to have the rumba and the jazz, I'm not sure. I keep going back to so you think you can dance where I'm expecting dance steps each week and there wasn't a lot for me this week. Yeah, it was kind of hard to judge last night because let's let's take Paula right off the bat. There was no dancing and Madonna didn't do any dancing in that either in mm -hmm. Vogue. She Vogued and it was its own dance style. So mm -hmm. it was perfect for Paula because there wasn't any feet or anything. It was just uh, hand movements and arm movements and uh -huh. walking around. Yeah. And that's what Madonna did too. So um, I think they did, what did they call hers, a jazz? Um, I Probably. Okay, so it was. <laughs> it was. There was no footwork. It was all hand. Yeah. Well, you wanted to talk about the opening number, first of all. Let's talk about the opening number. Okay, well, I know that the opening number choreographically was beautiful. Yeah, Manny Executed Moore does a great job. beautifully. I mm -hmm. mean, not a negative thought. My issue was more, I had a disconnect between the song and the actual dances that they were performing. I mean, you saw Fred and Ginger, you saw, and you told me MC Hammer, I saw Gene Kelly, I saw Chorus Line, I saw a variety of- yeah, Big Spender. Big Spender of dances, and yet I didn't get I'm a any, single lady. Oh yes, I didn't get a single note of those, uh, the actual music. And for so for me, it was a huge disconnect because I'm listening to the words and the step that's going has nothing to do with the words. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to dance with somebody, Whitney Houston. They mm -hmm. played one song and then through the song, they put all the different dance styles. Right, and Mandy Moore was true to all that. She, she was. did a phenomenal job, so don't, I'm not criticizing her. I just wonder who chooses the music why that is, they have their band on the show, and that's sometimes how they get around a little bit of the licensing, is they're not using original artists. So my question was, why aren't we doing that with the opening number, or using instrumental, or something other than that song? Well, I know legally it's really tough. Some of these people do not clear their music. So um, I don't know lawyer-wise what they were able to do. I do know each song costs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. and and to clear each song, you would have had to clear Chorus Line, you would have had to clear Big Spender, you would have had to clear Singing in the Rain, you would have had to clear the MC Hammer song, right, you'd have to clear Single Lady, you'd have to, you know, there's all these uh, songs. Even the one in Chorus Line where, um, uh, God, what was, Cassie did her solo, Lindsay uh -huh. did the solo, right? right. And um, it just, Cassie was in Chorus Line, she was dancing in front of mirrors, and that's who Lindsay portrayed last night. And of course, Fred and Ginger were on there too. And I don't know which song they were singing, they were dancing to. But I think they probably just thought, let's just play, I want to dance with somebody, one song. And because wouldn't it have been lovely if after the whole flash dance, I mean, flash dance was there too with the right, water, right? right? And so you've got the water coming down on the girl, which went right into singing in the rain, which yes. would have been great. But how much better that would have been to have da da da. Da, 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 da. You know, and Derek coming out. Yes. That would have been so cool. Because he was so light on his feet. I mean, he did such a phenomenal job. And maybe that's part of my disconnect, too, yes. because you see the lightness of the dance with the heaviness of the music that was played. And so that was just my opinion on the opening. So if you felt a little disconnected last night, what we had, and, and, and actually dance is not being able to be compared, it's because a lot of that, almost all of it, was original choreography. And not all of it could be suited into uh, a cha-cha, a jive, a rumba. Mm -hmm. And like, for instance, um, Greece, they, with Hayes and Emma, yes, they, they pretty much copied that exactly. And he didn't, he was sweet. He did an okay job, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I bet it was nerve-wracking to have him there with Olivia Newton-John. Oh, I, I am sure. And I'm thinking I'm of sure. Emma too. 
Yes, but you I thought Shelter, Korea yeah. because Never. I was thinking, aren't they both Australians? Yeah. Yeah, so I was just thinking, oh, well, there's she some camaraderie yeah. there. Yeah. It's, and it so. was so so for me. Um, they got a 32. Okay. Yeah, other than Paula, oh no, there was another one that wasn't too strong. Okay, so the next one last night was... Andy and Allison. Andy and Allison. I thought he channeled Gene Kelly beautifully. Yeah, he did. It was really good. Um, for a guy who was struggling in the beginning with his timing, I thought he'd come a, just a huge way forward in his ability to dance with the music and be on time. Yeah. I think he's grown, yeah, which I'd love to see. I'd love to see people grow, so... That was great. Good for you. They, and he got a 40. He got he a got perfect. A 40 and he got a 40. It was a jazz. Out. Yeah. Um, Alexa and Mark, they, they did a cha-cha. Um, for me, my problem was I didn't like her starting in a cage. I didn't like the fog. I thought there was too much going on. And where was the dancing? Again, it was Britney Spears' <laughs> choreography of whoever choreographed that for uh -huh. Britney, right? Right. And it's exactly how it was. She started in a cage. She has a red, yellow snake around uh -huh. her neck. And she just gyrates. Um, I just agreed with the... Um, uh, scores on her last night because she really did a great job she did exactly what Britney did she did it even better than Britney did you know well I think even wearing that snake should have garnered her an extra five points because there's no way you're gonna get a and, snake and they scored her so low mm -hmm. and you don't like snakes I hate snakes and I right there I was like what a participant <laughs> Okay. Yeah, she should have been scored at least a seven on wearing the snake. Absolutely. You know, and then her dancing was great. And there's that manipulation again. I'm not sure if they want to stress her out because she was really upset last night. Uh -huh. uh, stress her out because she only got a 30. You right, know? which was really much lower than everyone else, 38, 39. I didn't think she was 10 points uh, worse than Andy Grammer. There we go. I, I would agree with there's you. There's 10 points, yeah. you know, 30 and, and 40. I think maybe straight eights and maybe one nine would have been good, but mm -hmm. she was getting sevens. Yeah. And with Paula getting sixes, I mean, she was so much better than Paula. So yes. anyway, I had an issue with that last night. Yeah. I will support you on that one. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Next we had Bindi and Derek. They did the rumba. I loved that Bindi challenged Derek by saying, we've got to do the lift. So... I just thoroughly enjoyed the number. What did you think? Oh, uh, it was beautiful. You know, I've said the whole time, she has no idea that she's a natural dancer. Mm -hmm. She just is. She naturally points her toes and naturally stretches her leg. She she just, and her hip movement is so natural. And I'm just watching her loving to do this. Yes. It, she has, and she has that gentleness that she works with animals with. Yes. That she can kind of, kind of like, morph into uh, the feeling of all that. And I bet working with all those animals and knowing so much about and caring for those animals has put her more in touch with her own body, which has led to that natural ability. I think it sits in your soul. Yeah. It would have been nice to see her do the Britney Spears thing because she would have been great with that snake. <laughs> no, I was waiting for her to bust into the room and go, no, no. Well, before we leave that, don't you guys think that Derek should play Patrick Swayze on a Broadway show of Dirty Dancing. I don't mean a movie. I mean, I'd go see him in Broadway playing that role. Well, Dirty Dancing's role. touring. Maybe he'll get he a needs, guest role. He needs to have a guest role and play that for two weeks. I'd love to see Derek play Yeah, that'd be interesting. Patrick Swayze. Yeah. You know? Just like Jim Parsons on The Big Bang, I'd love to see him play Jimmy Stewart in uh, Harvey. And I think he did on Broadway, but I'd like to see him come this way. Because... Uh -huh. That's getting off subject. Anyway, there's certain people that I think look today could morph into the people that originally did it. Yeah. So anyway, I'm putting my two cents out there for you, Derek. Um, next we had Paula and Louie. I felt bad for Louie because I oh. felt like his hands were tied. Well, first of all, what did he have on? I mean, <laughs> I mean, he could have looked a little um, more masculine in being the suitor for her, right? Uh -huh. But maybe that's what they wore in the movie, I mean, in Vogue. Maybe that's what the guy in Vogue wore with the Madonna. I'm maybe guessing. she had him in shorts. I'm I don't remember. It was a long time ago. I'm so, and again, all the choreography the same. Mm -hmm. uh, Carlos and Whitney, I, I thought that he had channeled Channing Tatum pretty decently. Um, he definitely can move. 
Yes, and he's obviously got the physique for that particular role. I thought he did a great job for being as uncomfortable with doing those movements. So I didn't think he gyrated as much as he could have mm -hmm. because it would have put him over the edge of how uncomfortable he felt. Uh -huh. So I thought he did a nice job. And didn't he get some pretty good scores, too? He did. He's got a 38. Yeah, and see, I didn't think he was that much better than his wife at 30. Yeah. So they're manipulation again with the scores, right? I do. I think they're trying to keep certain people around. Uh, Nick and Sharna, they did a samba. Now, my problem with this was that they lit up the floor. <laughs> so, therefore, I'm so distracted by the colors on the floor, I have a really hard time watching the dance. Yeah, he was okay. And he scored more than Carlos. He got 39. Yeah. I think that, I think that him being Nick Carter, mm -hmm. that he hasn't grown. I mean, I don't think that was any better than anything else he's done. He's always just been good. Yes, I would agree. But I don't think he's getting to excellent. I would agree. And he agree. needs to get to excellent. Well, and, and this last night was really a chance to show personality because it wasn't about dancing. And maybe those that are shining are shining because they're able to meet the personality requirement. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, Alec and Lindsay, they did a jive. He had a channel, Elvis Presley. How do you think he did? Oh, it was okay. <laughs> I think he deserved 30. I, I don't think he did as great as, as he could have. Um, mm -hmm. I think he tried really hard, mm -hmm. um, but I was kept thinking of Elvis and how Elvis moved. And, you know, everybody else got pretty close yes. to how the other people were dancing, but it was okay. I think his score was right on. I'm not sure he's growing anymore. Yeah, I don't know if he can. You yeah. know how you reach that level? Right. Of, that's as, he might as good peaked. as I get. Yeah. Um, and the last couple of the night were Tamar and Val. Okay, you know I have criticized Tamar's mouth the whole season. Yes. Well, she had laryngitis. And I have to tell you, I don't wish her ill. I don't want her to be sick. But it was really nice that she couldn't talk as much and she had to save her voice because she actually did Rhythm Nation really well. Yeah, she got back to Val. Remember she last week, whoever her partner was, kept her working, 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 and she Louis. didn't have a chance. Louie. She didn't have a chance to talk and yeah. give reasons and all. And so with laryngitis, it continued, but this time she got back with Val, which gave him an opportunity to have a great week with her. Right. And that Rhythm Nation, okay. At the end, when they didn't, they didn't give her a lot of time after they got the scores because uh -huh. they got forty as well. And I think she did great, but she didn't do a forty. I didn't think. I mean, everybody was together. She blended in. Uh -huh. She blended in with everybody else too, which made her look great. Right. But she could have gotten a thirty-eight without any problem. Yes, I. I yes. Do you know what I'm saying? It wasn't perfect. So I think they feel so bad that they dissed her the week before and they don't want to make her upset, oh. and that she got a cold, and they felt bad, that they overscored her. That's possible. Or they're just creating this final group of, let's see, Andy, Carlos, Nick, Bindi. Tamar, and Bindi. There's your top five that I think they're setting up for. Mm -hmm. And um, Well, Bindi's going to win. Well, we'll see. I think, I think that win. they're <laughs> trying to create controversy or... Competition well, who for would her. be her next? Who would be the person that would be up against her? Well, it Andy would come Brown? up to the votes at that point, right? So they're keeping people alive, hoping the popular vote keeps it interesting. Mm -hmm. I think. Right. But as far as growth, and if people are smart, you vote for Bindi because she's the one that's great. Whether she's just the sweetest kid on the earth, it doesn't matter. The fact is, is that she actually has come from zero to just the best dancer on the show. Yeah. And it's not necessarily because of Derek. I think Val could have taken her there. I think Mark could have taken her there. Louis could have taken her there. Right. You know, I think these guys could have taken her there because she, she's just naturally good. Right. And I loved, I love that I've seen her grow. It's yeah. been great. But what I wanted to say before we sign off is that and finish is that I wanted to say I appreciate Val thanking the choreographer because they took the choreography from all these original pieces and Rhythm Nation during that time in the, mm -hmm. in the 90s, transformed dance just like Michael did. His, Janet and Michael just have, their choreographers allowed them to do so much. So I appreciated Val taking a moment to thank the choreographers. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So we need to send somebody home. In the bottom two. Yeah, were um, Paula and Alexa. Paula's Here's here. Paula. And Louie. And um, I think it's <laughs> it, 
Okay, so, so do you gonna say goodbye to Louie? Oh, I guess we have to say goodbye to Louie too. So goodbye, Louie. Oh, he's going up here, here. We didn't have them kiss, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, ready? Look okay. at Paula. Say okay. goodbye to Paula. Here we go. Bye, Paula. Huh. Headless. Into the jar of dance coven. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much. Have a good week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.